Welcome back for our latest home renovation project. Today we've partnered with Scott Comfort Plus Toilet Paper to share the full transformation of our master bathroom. We lived in our house for about four years now and it was time to finally get started on redoing this bathroom. I went with a bright white minimalist aesthetic and really I just wanted to simplify and eliminate some of that visual clutter. So in the planning stages, I listed out my goals for the project, like specifically what I wanted to use storage bases for. Toilet paper, cotton swabs, all of that I had written down and I wanted to make specific spots and have them considered. So we've partnered with Scott Comfort Plus Toilet Paper on today's video. We really have the same ideas, like being a mom of four, I'm always trying to be budget friendly and go for things that align quality and value. And the Comfort Plus line has just that. So you get the five-in-one mix of softness, strength, thickness, and absorbency. And also it's clog-free, which with kids, that's important. And two, nobody wants to waste money on toilet paper, but it is one of those essentials. And you're going to use it every day, multiple times a day, especially with a large family. So that aligned completely with my goals for the project. I wanted to do this budget-friendly and have it it's just simple, easy to clean, very practical and then at the same time like address the problems. Like we didn't even have a toilet paper roll holder before. And don't even get me started on the dreaded like toilet paper ran out and now I'm stranded situation. Not to name any names, but let's just say that that happened a little bit more often than it should have in our old setup. So we addressed that too. Each of these mega rolls equates to four regular rolls. So we are stocked. Without further ado, let me get you into the before so you guys will fully appreciate where we started and you can see how far we've come. I wanted to give you guys a good look at up close and personal what we were starting out with. There was a broken drawer front, a missing drawer. Everything had seen some hard days and that was one of the first things that we tackled. We just got back from Home Depot and look what we have here. My husband built a drawer while I was making dinner. We got the drawer slide, got the plywood, and we also picked up some, I think it's three quarter inch, forget what it's called, but to make the fronts of these, I cannot wait. I also got some drawer poles, and I actually got the like rectangle ones. I'll show you guys what they look like in a matte black color. I had a chance to look at like countertops and stuff, but I'm not too sure what I want to do yet. Let me show you the drawer poles. All right, so here are the knobs. These are so cool. They're the matte black, rectangular. I think they're gonna look really great. And they also have these in gold too. And then I did pick up a couple like towel hooks because we need, we have one but it like broke and I don't like the look of it. So I found these, they were like three bucks. Just got a couple of those. I think in total we have like seven of these. Some of them are gonna go this way, some of them are gonna go this way. I think they're gonna look really good. As with any project, the first step is always to take all of the clutter and everything out of the space so you can really address it. I had so many things like products that I had opened, things that I had been sent to try, just so many things. Aloe vera gel like that you use once and then never see it again. All of that stuff was like piled up in the vanity. So taking it all out and doing a KonMari was essential. And then also that first night we did take off the drawer fronts so that was a neat change too. And hashtag family budget because my husband and I did this whole project just the two of us. Here we go. The ugly rounded corners are coming off. Woo. I've been waiting for this moment for four years, honey. Four years. Okay. Naked drawer fronts. Today is a big day. We just got our sink you guys I'm in love with it I love the vessel sink this is gonna be totally different like before it was just so standard like you see this all day every day ugly as well with the yeah this is it's like this has become a spa just changing the sink that one thing and the countertop and that it's gonna make such a big difference <gasps> I can't wait I'm gonna have all of the products like the individual pieces that I am putting together for this whole remodel I'm gonna link everything in a blog post so make sure you check the description if you're curious about anything specific uh, I picked up this faucet on Amazon so um, it doesn't come with the sink or anything but I feel like like this is so much more affordable than anything that I have seen I mean this is oh, this is so nice I also picked up a matte black um, like drain stopper one of the push ones 
This is gonna, I'm just so excited. And then I think I already showed you guys, I can't remember. I found a better deal on the drawer pulls. So these were like $7.50 um, at the hardware store, but I was able to find like a pack of a bajillion of these for 15 bucks on Amazon. So they are a little bit smaller, which I think might actually work in our favor because these are really large. I don't know, I'm keeping them both for now until we get the drawer fronts figured out, but if you're looking for a more affordable option, they're not that much smaller and they do come in the larger as well. All right guys, so what we did for the tabletop is we went the super, super cheap Ikea route and we got the just like most basic white laminate, but this piece is 72 or 74 inches long. So we're just gonna cut it to the right size for the countertop now. And I heard a little trick is to use duct tape where you're cutting so it doesn't splinter when you're doing laminate. So hopefully that works for us. Okay, forget everything I said, not duct tape. <laughs> we're using blue painter's tape. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just wanna say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. While I know a laminate top is not the most like fancy top for a vanity. I really like how inexpensive Ikea has their laminate and this white one in particular for like a 78 inch board it was only like, I don't know, it was under $50 for that top and when you compare that to like granite and some of the other stones, it's just we saved a lot of money by doing it this way. Also by not replacing our vanity by just sanding it down and changing out the fronts and painting it, we saved so much money just in that part of the project. And then another area that I was decluttering was actually my plants. Um, if you guys have been following my channel for a while now, you'd see that I've had these plants here, like the big one, the monstera, and then also all the little baby monsteras, all those little trimmings. Those have just like multiplied over the years. So I took all of the plants out and I was trying to be very like realistic and think about what I wanted to have like what my ideal bathroom would look like before I put any of them in. So I only ended up keeping a couple plants in the final reveal and the rest I either relocated to different areas in the house or I actually gave quite a few of them away to some friends of mine who'd recently moved. But it was great timing because with them getting into their new house and everything being freshly painted, they were looking for some plants to like absorb some of those chemicals and things from all the paints. And you know, when you move into a fresh home, it's nice to bring in some fresh light and like some life too. So I think it was actually great timing with that. Still kept my plants, you guys will see that, but I just kind of minimized them. And you know, it really became hard to clean when there was so many different plants and pots and all of that in there. So by decluttering that, it really helped make the space feel more open and easy to clean. Now you guys saw that we sanded down our window casings and my husband took off that old trim. We also made a huge update by adding shiplap to our bathroom wall. That main wall that you see when you first walk in that has the mirror on it. I, If it was up to me, I would have put a circle mirror there, but my husband really likes the size of the big like rectangular like 90s style mirrors. So our compromise there was to do a shiplap wall. So between sanding down and painting that windowsill and adding these shiplap pieces, I think that was also a really nice way to make like a big bang for your buck. And I'm just really a big fan of shiplap right now. If you've never done a wall in shiplap, basically you are cutting the boards to size and then you kind of slide one on top of the other or underneath the other. And then you just put them up with a nailer and then the most time consuming part other than cutting 
is to fill in all of those little nail holes. All right, so I'm taking a quick break from construction and I wanted to show you guys a couple things that just got here from Amazon for the bathroom. So first thing is this awesome toilet paper roll holder. Actually, it goes like this. So it's got like a little shelf on it. So if you walk in the bathroom and you've got your phone in your hand, you can set it on a shelf. And I think that's so cool. It just screws into the wall right there. It's this matte black. I really like this. And they didn't have anything in like matte black at my store. So Amazon, I ordered this literally last night and it just got here this morning. So Amazon for the win. And then this hand towel ring. I like the rings because you can do like the bigger hand towel and even like a washcloth on top. But right now, what I'm actually gonna do is head to the store and pick out some paint. There's just too many areas that need to be touched up in the bathroom that we don't have uh, any touch up paint for. So I'm gonna head out and probably I'm gonna do like a light gray, but a little bit lighter than what's in there now. But we'll see. So we're just about to put up the frame around the mirror. It looks so good. We just held the pieces up. We haven't glued it quite yet. That was like one of my requirements. That metal strip at the bottom had to go. So he's gluing the top piece and also the sides. It's gonna be awesome, especially since it's the same trim as we have like through the rest of the house and the doors. And we're doing thicker on the bottom and top and then thinner on the sides. Basically what we have in our shaker style doors. So it's like the thinner on the sides and then thicker. It's gonna look good. You like it? That's crazy. This bathroom was so sketchy for so long <laughs> and it's coming together. One thing that I do want to look at at Lowe's is some paint, like tile paint, to get rid of this light pink bathroom tile, we'll see. And also I'm thinking just a lighter, brighter gray, but really what I'm trying to fix is like we've got just all kinds of spots and then in here too, you can see. See all those spots? Yep, and over here. And we don't have this paint anymore, so. Yep. So I just got back from Lowe's, got some paint, and I'll show you the color here in just a second. This room is turning into such a mess. Like, there's just construction stuff and random stuff everywhere in our bedroom, because it's connected to the bathroom. Ugh, can I get through here? Okay. So, here is what I got. The color is called Foggy Mirror. I thought that would be good. So it's it's similar to what we already have, which I do like the color that's already in here. It's just there's so many spots in it, like so many places where it's like rubbed off and like missing for whatever reason. So need to repaint. I hope we like it. And I hope it kind of brightens it up in here too. And then look at this beautiful thing. So beautiful. It's huge. This is 32 ounces. Okay. My job right now is going to be cleaning everything. I think he's pretty much got all of it up. He's just going to do the fronts of the new vanity and then I'm going to paint those. But right now I'm literally just going to take everything out and yeah, we're going to do some painting. Why am I taking this out? Is this the only like cleaning thing in there and I took it out. I picked up a tile coloring, like refinishing kit. So, say goodbye to this pink tile. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> and Joseph's standing the uh, front for here. Also very excited about that. But I'm gonna get started, first of all, with painting all of this stuff, all of these walls. Look how high. I don't even know how I'm gonna get up there, like seriously. Yeah, so there's a lot of gray to paint, but we're gonna do it. You guys, this is always the fear when you're painting and it's like half, like it's starting to dry and look how it, it looks like, oh no, this paint is awful. It's patchy. No. You just gotta make sure you do an even coat and then this will all even out. At least that's the goal. These 
these door frames in here, these ones that have been here for a while, are so dusty. So before I keep painting, I have got to go get a duster and like do some dusting first because I don't want to mix dust in the paint. Okay, here we go. This is when I got uh, Full Circle is the brand. I got this on Grove Collaborative and I love this one because you can reuse it. So yeah, reusable dusters are where it's at. Much better. Just a quick little dust. We'll be good to go. Right? It's almost like it's magnetic. I just stuck my hand in wet paint for like the third time today. I'm starting to feel like, <laughs> like this bathroom is getting a little like claustrophobic in here. And just everything is either wet or in the way. One thing you guys aren't seeing is the kids are all home today. <laughs> so we're trying to like tag team this project and entertain the kids and keep them busy and stuff. But good thing I went to Target and got like some workbooks and new school supplies. So they've got new markers and stickers and coloring books and all that. Desperate times. I got a hair clip, but I'm gonna get this one off. <laughs> uh, I'm in the middle of painting. And I don't wanna have to paint around this old one. Actually, we are gonna repurpose this little towel ring. We're gonna put it in the boys' room, but I'm gonna spray paint it matte black to kinda go with, <gasps> did you guys see that? <laughs> so much of the paint came with it. But anyways, we are gonna repurpose this cause it's like totally still good. So I'm just gonna spray paint it matte black so it kinda goes with the decor that we're doing. It'll still be good. but I'm all done with the painting in the bathroom. But now, there's this part of the bathroom, like the toilet part of the bathroom. So, uh, I've got some spots here that I think I pointed out earlier that are missing paint. I wasn't, I like didn't remember that I still would need to paint in here. And look how high it goes up, oh my goodness. Like I don't even know, I guess it's no higher than this room. So anyways, I might as well just bite the bullet and get started. Plus, we've had this here for like, since we moved in basically, and it's broken. It's supposed to be like a two prong thing. I'm gonna take that out. This is also broken. Look at that, like they tighten these down so much that they broke. So we're gonna replace that. So I'm gonna take both of these off. Light fixture's already off. Let's just take this shelf off now, shall we? It's one of those floating shelves. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, apparently you can't do that one-handed. Let's get to it. Well, you guys have seen me paint this whole room. I'm not gonna make you watch the whole time lapse of painting this room. So I'll see you probably in an hour or so when it's done. <laughs> it's 9.30. You've pretty much been working all day on this and an hour and 12 minutes is what it took me to finish the bathroom, but it looks so nice and bright. It's looking a little bit patchy right now because it's like half drying. See, I did the borders first. But it's gonna look so much lighter and brighter in there. And you still gotta put trim on too, like base trim. So it's gonna look so nice and polished once it's all done. I am not gonna get as much done as I thought I would because this tile kit has to, like you have to do one coat, let it set for three hours, and then do another coat of that. So that would be completely Impossible it'd be like after midnight before I was starting a second coat and you have to clean it So left on the list tonight is I'm gonna do another coat on this windowsill over here And I'm also gonna paint These drawer fronts which they're in now. And I'm so excited. This one already has um, It's got the shaker style trim and then this one over here is not made yet, but um, I'll just have to do the two coats tomorrow on that. So we're gonna paint the cabinet we're gonna paint the windowsill, and I'm also gonna clean this tub area. So it'll all be ready to go first thing in the morning, and then I can get to painting the tile and tub.
can feel your near when you're miles away. Yeah. You can make it shine when the whole world rains. Good morning, guys. Am I even in the frame? Good morning. I have to show you, look at how good the vanity looks. So today, what I've got planned is painting the shiplap. Also, we did get all the prep done on the bath yesterday. You guys saw that. That is a process, getting it prepped. And then I'm gonna paint the cabinet, and then I'm gonna paint the tub. This has to be painted, and then it has some crazy instructions, like you gotta paint it, wait exactly three hours, and then immediately do your second coat. And like if it's more than six hours in between the first coat to the second coat, then you have to like call them for help and like don't proceed. So we had to wait till the morning to do the painting. Anyways, I'm gonna get started. Update. I am done with the trim and the shiplap, that's all done. However, I'm starting to get a little bit tired, which means clumsy. I like backed my knee into, well I kind of fell, and then I knocked my knee into the trim, had to fix that, and I need to wipe a little bit under the trim over here, so I'm trying to figure out where we have the alcohol that we used yesterday to clean the tile. Once I do that, I can like wipe that and clean my pants, that should get it out. I also think I'm just getting a little bit tired and lazy, so I'm just waiting for my little frozen yogurt bar to warm up. Um, and then I'm gonna do like a little activity with the kids. Joseph had to run back to the hardware store again. <laughs> it's like the fourth time I think in the past couple days. But anyways, he's gotta run to get some screws. This is coming together, we've got another drawer face. Um, if you're curious about my snack, this is a chocolate and vanilla swirl Yasso frozen Greek yogurt bar. Pretty excited about that. They're better when you let them like sit out for a couple minutes. Oh, and let me show you what I'm gonna do with the kids. Gotta keep them entertained so I can work on these projects, right? Okay, you guys will have to let me know if you remember these. These were like everything when I was a kid. They're those little like melty beads and then you arrange them how you want on the little board and then you put parchment paper over the top and you iron them. How cute are those? So since I've just got Landon and Cameron here, I think I can trust them to like do this on their own. Cameron's six and Landon's four. But I think they can do it. I'm just gonna eat my ice cream bar and let them have at it, we'll see. <laughs> but I thought this would be super fun. They had a deal on them, it wasn't eight bucks. They were like, buy one, get two free or something, and I got a bunch of sticker packs too. So these are something I used to do when I was a kid. You arrange them like a little sloth or a little elephant or a little alligator. There should be enough beads for all of those projects. I can't do that. You can't? No. Well, I think there's instructions. Let's, let's open it up and see. And then I use the iron. Mommy does the iron part. And then once we've got them ironed, they iron. stick together. Like I used for the clothes to make them, like your suits and stuff, to make them flat. What are you eating there, Landon? Mango. Got, oh, frozen mango? Good snack. Okay, maybe let's take these over the table and then I we'll we'll try it out. been under that mask for like an hour oh my goodness but you guys the tile is white now it's just the first coat down but oh my goodness Joseph walked in and he said oh no now this looks orange it does look like a little bit ivory and like these older whatever those called the jets are looking a little sketch but it is starting to look like it's starting to look so good in here and so light and bright. And now you can really see like the gray, this gray that I went with and how it like pops with the white. It's still very bright and airy looking, but it's oh, like you can tell the contrast. I am so excited. There's a few spots that I'm a little bit 
nervous about here, like a few little, like, eh, I don't know. But it has that shine like porcelain does, and this is just the first coat. I think it's gonna be good, I, I do. So next on the agenda is rub this poor face, because it hurts so bad, drink my cold coffee, and I probably should get something to eat today and convince Joseph to put the lights on. We are moving along, you guys, it's good. We're making progress. All right, you guys, come on in and take a look. It looks nothing like the old bathroom. Seriously, everything is different. I hope it feels so much brighter and lighter. First off, though, I think one of the, the first things that you notice in the bathroom is the vanity, at least what I hope you notice. We now have all the drawers. There's a whole new drawer made. My husband not only made new drawer fronts with like the squared kind of shaker style to mimic our doors, but also he made a new drawer. We were without one for like four years and now we've got fully functioning everything in the vanity. Plus we saved like, I don't know, this would probably cost a thousand dollars to get a master bathroom vanity, but we were able to do this entire project the whole bathroom for just a few hundred dollars. So that's a win. Uh, the top here, this is just a laminate top from Ikea, a really inexpensive one. And this vessel sink, I actually picked up off of Amazon. Same thing with the faucet and the matte black drain stopper. My themes for color in the bathroom were white, the matte black, and gray. Our light fixture here is from the Permo brand on Amazon. Love Amazon Prime shipping. Everything gets here so fast. And I also love that it came in a matte black because a lot of the black finishes, it's like that brushed nickel and it has just like that orangey brassy tone and I don't like that. So matte black is the theme that I went with in here along with the white and the grays. Um, also this towel uh, ring, this one's from Amazon, different seller, but pretty much everything that I needed to be really specific, I just go on Amazon because it's the fastest way and there's just so many choices. Um, the plant, I actually got this from my local grocery store about a year ago. The little pot here is from Ikea. Uh, what else? Oh, very important. But our Q-tips, I wanted a container that was big enough to fit like a big quantity. This was like on my list in the beginning because we go through those like multiple a day. So I wanted to make sure the container would fit them. And I also love this shade of wood too. I think it's really good and neutral. For hand soap, I thought it was so cute. And I love how it goes with the decor and like this specific label. I'm just gonna keep refilling this one because I love the container. I also got just a plain uh, amber jar to put my face wash in because nothing is more convenient than just having that out all the time. And I really like that amber glass. Also the picture frame over here, this one is from Target and the artwork in it was just what came stock like on the shelf. Another huge improvement was the toilet shower room. Not only did I paint this a similar shade of gray, but a little bit lighter. Uh, we also moved the shelf. It used to be up here. We changed out the light. You guys, before this light was like falling apart, crazy. But this one matches. This is the two dome and the one we have in there is the three. But I love that they coordinate. They're this from the same manufacturer. And also this wall art, this was something that we had in our bedroom, we just repurposed it. I love that it's got that wood tone, so it kind of brings a little bit of earthiness into here. Um, same thing with the matte black with the wire basket. And you guys, if you don't already know about poopery, this is like, let me just fill you in on a little something. Um, poopery, you spray it in the toilet before you go. It's not like a room spray, but it, cuts down on like any toilet smells. You need this in your life. But I really love this amber spray bottle. I just put it in there and then I made a little label for it. I've also got some body oil in here. This is just my all time favorite from Herbivore and a little bit of greenery in here too. Um, for the toilet closet, I don't know what you guys call this room. I wanted there to be backup toilet paper because that's always like a big thing in the bathroom. You don't want anybody to get stranded. We also have a new toilet paper roll holder. And you guys, these mega rolls are each worth like four standard toilet paper rolls. So there's like 16 rolls of toilet paper in here. We are stocked. We are good. Nobody's gonna run out of toilet paper and have to be knocking for help. We're good. This one was another Amazon find. That's pretty much it for this room, but let's flip flop to the opposite side of the room. You guys can see a little bathtub area. So this little area over here obviously is like the tub, jacuzzi area. This was 
pink before. So I used a kit to actually paint the tile, which I was terrified about. I will say it did not turn out as perfect as I was hoping, but it's no longer pink and I love that. It's just nice, bright, and fresh. Um, I also did keep one of the little baby starts from my previous Monstera plant. That big one is in Kaylee's room. I've got so many of these. I've given so many to my friends too. This plant just keeps on going. Um, also this little plant stand, this is from Target. And then over here, one of my favorite things to do at the end of the night, even if I don't have time for a full bath, I still like to like wash my feet. So I've got this little basket over here with some soap and some lotion. All of that stuff that I need for nighttime to get my feet all nice and ready for bed is here. I've also got a bath towel hung up on the side, which is great if you forget to bring a towel with you to the bath or every night when I need to dry off my feet, good to go. I've also got some really cute little bath fizzers in this basket too. So if you're taking a bath, you need a bath bomb. And this little basket here too, it's got a little bit of that earthiness being like a wicker wood type basket. So I love that too. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of our brand new bathroom and you love seeing kind of the makeover of it. If you'd like to see how I've got all of the drawers and things organized, you want to see like a clean with me, organize with me, and how I've done that, I could probably do it a little bit better in terms of storage. Um, let me know and I can get that up too. Also, if you'd like to check out another one of our minimalist makeovers, you can see our boys' rooms and I'll put that over here or my most recent clean with me over here. I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.